more dog bones. Adrian sent some red dog bones from 06 to 17 and yellow and gray dog bones, which we're gonna do right now. And remember boys and girls, climbing is dangerous. This is the condition of the dog bone. Looks like that. And they all kind of look like that. Let's break it. Broke on this side. This is a Dyneema dog bone, by the way. It broke slightly lower than MBS. Yep, MBS is 22 kilonewtons. Broke on the other side. Broke in a similar way, and it's slightly under MBS. Broke on the other side this time. We've done the load cell side. And yeah, it didn't actually break where the carabiner was. It broke at that first stitch. It broke at the first stitch right there. Really? And not at the... That's not usually what happens. Yeah, it usually breaks back here. Broke on this side this time. Same thing. It's where that displacement happens from that thread being inside of the quick draw. Broke on this side and it broke at that first stitch. The year on these is 2013. So our next batch of dog bones are a little bit older from 2006 and they're also rated for 22 kilonewtons and they're you know, in pretty decent shape considering that they're, I think, 17 years old now. And uh, Adrian used them from 2006 to 2017 on and off. So broke on the pull side. It broke where, well, partially where the carabiner rubs it, but also, I don't know, half and half. But it's higher than MBS and it's older. Crazy. So it broke on the load cell side, and it broke where the carabiner is grabbing it higher than it MBS. <laughs> broke on the load cell side, it was partially where the carabiner pulled, and then partially where that first stitch is. <laughs> broke on that side, and right where the carabiner was. Not affected by that first stitch. Much higher than MBS. Broke on the pull side, right where the carabiner was pulling right through that. Now this one is a little bit longer than the other ones. I think it'll perform the same. On the load cell side, on this side. What I found most interesting in these tests is that the younger ones, the 10 year old ones were breaking most, mostly below MBS. And these older red ones were breaking higher. And they're both Dyneema dog bones, but I think these, these ones were left out in the sun longer or been used more. And uh, time will degrade dog bones just by itself. You leave them in a cave without any UV light, they'll, they'll still break lower um, because of the environment that they're in. But especially if you're using them outside, like climbers usually do, um, they will, they will start to break lower and lower, and you just never know when. Um, these ended up being super good enough, and we're just gonna keep testing dog bones to find a couple nuggets of ones that break lower than they should. Anything under five kilonewtons is kind of sketchy. If you like these quickies, subscribe to our Clips channel, and uh, if you have stuff you wanna send us, uh, our contact information's on hownottto.com. Cheers.